Hello, lovely people, and welcome back to part 95 of this Witcher playthrough on the hardest difficulty. This was our last save, so it's been a while, I know. I've been working a lot, and that's basically why I haven't been streaming or uh, posting any videos on YouTube. I've been streaming a little bit, but not much. So let's jump into the game. This boss fight can be made very easy if you just follow, like, my build right here. So, this is completely bulletproof like if you fail with this build just try again it's so simple anyways i'm gonna show you the oh that was not on purpose i'm gonna show you the difficulty uh right here there we go enemy upscaling is on and death march is on and we're gonna go and sell a couple of things first okay is he gonna have any cash, is the question. Whoops. Let's uh, meditate here. I did play The Last of Us 2, and uh, I enjoyed it. I'm not on the hate train. So, I think it was a very good game, really good story. There was a couple of things that was, like, of course, you're not gonna like the things that you know happen and stuff but so all in all it was such a good story and such a good game One i enjoyed it but i can understand that people get a little bit upset but uh yeah that's my take on it let's see here i'm not gonna go too much in depth of why and what I really enjoyed about The Last of Us, but I think it was a really good game. Um, next week, it's going to be Ghost of Tsushima. Then I'm going to stream. And, uh, of course, when Cyberpunk comes out, I'm going to stream that as well. But yeah, one thing I'm going to do in the future is... I'm not going to talk so much in the videos that I will be uploading. So, you're not going to... I'm going to tone it down a little bit. So, if you... If you feel like I'm quiet for a very Listen, long time, it's not that I don't want something? to talk. It's just that I feel like I want to focus more on the gameplay when I upload. So, yeah, he had much money. Nice. Let's see if I can sell anything else. Yeah, the, the rest of the stuff we're going to so put in the stash and we're going to get buffed up. And then we're going to... Fight a very, very strong opponent. Uh, I have never really gotten the timings on this boss. So if you guys are really good at the timings when it comes to this boss, good for you. Because I'm just going to admit it. I, I suck at the timings with this boss. I just can't get it right. So I've developed a build for you guys if you feel like you can't get the timings right. But you want to play on the hardest difficulty and you want to enjoy the boss fight still and just wreck him. Uh, it's going to be using uh, quite a lot of Igni, so you'll be feeling a little bit like a witcher still with the, uh, with the stuff. Uh, let's sleep. meditate a little bit like right here. I think it's going to be nighttime anyways when you get there, so... Uh, we want tawny oil to be uh, applied, so... That's gonna allow us to just spam stuff. But yeah. I've seen some crazy dudes on YouTube. They do it zero damage. Like... And I think it's very impressive. <laughs> I don't know how long they've been training for those fights, but... Uh, for that specific fight. But this one, to get the timing right, I just can't get it right. So... But yeah. Uh, I recommend Arakas, Kidna, Tawny Oil, and then you could choose either Water Hag Decoction or Griffin Decoction. If you put Griffin de Decoction on, like, you're gonna be disgustingly tanky. Like, you're not gonna take any damage in this fight. It's crazy. So, I'll show you. Uh, we can put on the Water Hag Decoction. The, the goal is to not get hit much anyways, but I'll just show you. Like, if we get hit, we're... Uh, not gonna take much damage. Uh, we could, could get a little lighter, actually. Let's go and 
Just to stash stuff. Uh, I've, ha I've, I've got a new goal actually, and uh, the quality of the upcoming content uh, that I want to make, I want to get the quality up to 4K and not 1440p. So um, I'm waiting for the new GPUs to come out, the new NVIDIA GPUs. I know I have a 2080 Ti, but I'm going to get the 3080 Ti or whatever's really good. And it's going to be, it's going to cost. It's gonna cost some money, but I really want to get some really, really good quality content out for you guys. I know that not everyone will be able to watch 4K, but for the people who can, and eventually people will be able to watch it in the future. So it's uh, it's also a little future proof, you know, very high quality content. The videos will be nice and have a good resolution. So that's gonna be something that I'm aiming for. And I want to see what AMD releases now, their new like, CPUs coming out. So let's hope they're good for gaming and content uh, creation. And let's hope, you know, both their GPU and their CPUs are going to be good. But I think I'm going to go with NVIDIA on GPUs. So anyways, enough talk. Let's, let's jump into the game and enjoy it. Look who's here! The witch you with a stick up his ass! What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a theory pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? Alright. You know how it is. Feast drags on with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with yous! Drank with yous! Fought beside yous! Did you kill me now? I'm one of yous! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Whoa. Nerves a little raw? Why? You deaf! Get the fuck out of here, freak! All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know! Sod off! I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off. We've work to do. No, you don't. Let him go. Oh, this is bloody rich. Can't plow and believe me ears. You switch your brains with your cock or something. Get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or... Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa. What the bloody hell is this? Geralt, have you decided to play Defender of the Downtrodden? More like Gutter of Sons of Bitches. Long as I'm here, y'all got no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witcher before. Defeat me and I shall let him go. Stand aside! Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. So basically, you want to trigger his uh, his combination and then interrupt him with Igni. And then you can actually deal quite a lot of damage to him. You can run three times and then he's going to do that. 
reapply. But this is the easy way I would say, like what I'm doing right now. If you don't have like uh, the timings, okay, he's got a couple of different attacks and you can stun him in the red attacks. But you want to trigger his combination first and then you, you do this. You can see he's not dealing much damage, like soon he's not going to deal any damage if he hits me a couple more times. But yeah, this is a bulletproof strategy for this boss. Try not to suck as much as I do here. You're <laughs> not taking damage, my god. If you fail with this build, definitely, uh, definitely go back and try again. You should not fail with this build. if he deals any damage. Oh well, there you go guys. He's not dealing damage anymore. <laughs> it's like nothing. It's crazy. So basically you don't have to worry anymore in this fight. One thing you can also do is make him throw the sand or whatever he's doing. Make him throw the sand and you can actually step to the side and hit him as well with the red. So I'm gonna try to trigger that. So three hits. Step to the side and you can rend again. Don't step into the sand like I did there. Oh, I almost got him. Kinda wanna trigger his attack here. Combination and then into his attack. Come on. You can see if you just get him, get him stunned, and you can do 
kind of whatever you want. Play the hangman's venom. But yeah. I would call this a bulletproof build for this boss. Maybe a little boring because like eventually he's not gonna deal any damage. So if you don't want it to be that boring, don't apply the Griffin decoction here. This is really what makes this crazy and so tanky. Combined with an already tanky build. Actually managed to strike him, strike him there. Damn. If there's any Witcher expert who knows when to time his, uh, to get the timing down right when it comes to his, uh, when, it's, when it comes to that attack, you can deflect it. I just don't know how to do it. So I find it so difficult to get the timing right on that one. Struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. Wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. <laughs> Getting off cheap, mate.
Really necessary, that whole show? Ugh. Show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little can hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seemed boring and monotonous. The tricks to plow through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. It's not a man. <laughs> Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gone to road deep. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then. Allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgierd grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, oh dim. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosoni. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? 
Out to my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw. Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mounts always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him, and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then, we shall speak of the third. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. <laughs> and something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Sneaky, Counter Odin. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring in that. Ooh. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Sides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood, true. Of the summoned, not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everick blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt. I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. get the uh, let's see here where is it it's probably here when I get the new moon trousers so let's go there you, you got to be very very careful Could you, because you can easily fall down here For some reason, I cannot call my horse. It glitched. Let's fast travel here. Uh -uh. We, can, we can put this one on here. 
travel here and then go up. Should be good. Well, I can't call my horse. Damn, I hate when these bugs happen, but what can you do? It happens sometimes. get up there. There's a little bit of stuff around here that we can collect, but not much. But the the best pants in the game, they're here, so definitely want to get them. Be careful though. Make sure when you climb up here, just when you go down, just go down very, very slowly. Walk, and you should be fine. Best, the best pants in the game. And then when you get down here, just walk really, really slowly here. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, I knew he was going to do a stupid flip there. My god. <laughs> my heart almost stopped, guys. Oh my god. How long have we been playing for? Oh my god. 75 hours without a death. Yeah, that would have sucked. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that was crazy. Alright. Alright. 
can we get down here? I don't remember. Yeah, we can definitely get down here. But yeah, we're gonna put these on instantly. They have extremely good defensive stats as well, like you can see here. The crit, so the slashing and bludgeoning, like it's perfect. Perfect pants. No elemental resistance, which sucks, but like, just look at the stats. They're amazing. So yeah. Easily the best pants in the game. Finally, call my horse. Didn't work earlier. Let's see here. I'm gonna put the marker. Uh, I mean, all of these question marks. We're gonna go for all of them, but not now. We're gonna start the quest yeah, yeah. first. So. I'm gonna go and get my gems. Put some Quen gems inside the pants. Goodness, guys, did you see the Horizon 2 trailer? I mean, we didn't see much uh, combat. Or did Was there any combat? I don't think there was any combat. It was just, like, a trailer. But my god. The, like... I'm just looking forward to the game so much. That's one of the other games that I've finished without dying a single time. I do... Luckily, the deleted footage from Twitch, I ended up saving all of it on uh, my uh, hard drive so i have the the complete playthrough from fin like uncut all of it so i could upload it if you guys really want to but yeah, that was not easy it's new game plus so it's a little bit easier but still like finishing that game without you know skipping i finished the dlc as well so it was not only the uh, the game, it was like the main game, it was the DLC as well, so yeah, it was very tough. And it, like, in some areas, you just get overwhelmed with like crazy enemies, it's not easy. They hate you too, fat girl. Okay, nice, thank you, dude. All right, so, uh. That's what I want to do. This quest makes me a little sad sometimes. We'll see why. Well, honestly, it makes me sad every single time I play the game, but. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. Afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. <laughs> Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? 
Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. Now, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sort it. Now march. Round you go. One, two, one, two. Appreciate the help. Just note, I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van de Neu and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've near seen the purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But, Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you to him. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Buy Gilles, everything. You thought of buying real here. estate could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Max? Come on, you know damn well that makes no sense. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Helbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> oh, smell it, Geralt. Arr. That's the center coin. Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me. But have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right-fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. 
But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. <laughs> Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. So this is the Viper. Viper said it's really good. Like, you can see all the bonuses are really good. Elemental damage, monster damage reduction, slashing, piercing. So, it's very good. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Hmm. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts.
Well, that was not uh, sad at all, huh? Damn. Bunny, you claim it declared bankruptcy? Oh, that ring on its finger. Hellbent! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? <laughs> oh my god. What is it? <laughs> well, mate, since I brought yous together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. A find this fee of sorts, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my trade, friend. Coin then a stink. So, what'll it be? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't push it, Vimmy. <laughs> All right. Game on. Let's go with that. It's probably gonna have decoys. So. <laughs> oh my god. Thinking about going for one of these. I don't want to use the uh, Biting Frost. I'd rather use, I'd rather save it for the next round. Could be coming, could come in handy. He hasn't placed any good cards, so let's see what happens. I'm expecting spies or decoys or healers at least soon. There we go. might have he might have scorch and might take out my cards here so let's see what happens I'm gonna use biting frost the reason why I'm not using the horn here is because he's gonna be using there we go 
You might be using. Uh... You might be using Scorch then to take out all my catapults. Right now, he can't do anything about him. One card. Yeah, this is over. Definitely. Yeah. It was very easy this time. Sometimes it's much more difficult. But... Very easy. Unbelievable, I don't buy it. You cheated, you must have, or something. Hexed me or whatnot. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Afore Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Yaramir, uh, might we trouble ye a wee spell? Mm-hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes. Whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. So do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward Van der Nob, the master from Maribor. Really? Merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? <laughs> Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize in the tone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roe is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends back in. So, what did he tell you? Uh, nothing special. Truly? Huh. Shame that. All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. Sheer number of them's doing my heed in. I think you get 500 if you sell it uh, to the bookseller. Esteemed Not ladies, sure, but I think honorable it was. gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much else, boys. And as I said, buy everything in here. Because you won't get a second chance Maybe to listen. get the items. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? 
They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be in intermission. Horst Wasodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! Knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice, and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes, at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Rose Starry Night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. <laughs> Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible. With the white haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. <coughs> A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once. Going twice? Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, before some other cocksucker steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. <laughs> Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you. An itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. 
Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... <laughs> no reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. <laughs> mm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Oh, wolf pops got you. Yeah. What? Lost your nerve? Enough of that. Just want to get this guy that is low. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you, I hope. Honor in the pub. Get you 
some extra damage here. Okay. No. What? Did I drop it? I just equipped it. Well, that's not on purpose. Gotta get used to the buttons. That build is gonna start dealing this th disgusting damage now. As you can see, like these fallen knights with all the armor that they have. Easy spot, lots to do. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not? Hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. I'm going to play Gwent against him as well, and do the quest for him as well. But this is such a good quest, this one here. You have come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think, so talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. New one I can count on. The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? Bliss to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity mates to thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, or a demolition specialist. 
I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. But that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite Eveline Gallo. A circus artist known better as the Yermi. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty, a halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man. <laughs> Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt, in a house near the Novograd Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Olness. My plane turn us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. <sighs> Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. Very good in long quest, this one. I really like it.
Alright. We'll save here. Uh, we can overwrite. Let's overwrite this one here. So that's our new save. Sorry. There we go. That's our new save. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoy the videos and uh, I'm going to do my best to post as much as possible. But you guys know when I don't post, I'm basically working or I'm just resting because I'm tired after work. So make sure you like the video and make sure you sub with, notifi with notifications on so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again. And...